Hello, welcome. My name's Susie, and today we're gonna open a box for March because I'm timely. <laughs> I have here my March Book of the Month box, and I got my April Book of the Month box in the mail, which prompted me to maybe open this one. <laughs> Uh, so you'll probably see another book of the month for April pretty kind of soonish. Uh, but let's open this one first and go over what the different options were for book choices this time. So the options for March were What's Mine and Yours by, I think it's pronounced Naomi, Naomi, I think it's like Naomi, but Naomi. Naomi Coster, I'm sorry if I say that wrong, I don't know. And basically that story is supposed to be about parents and they're trying their best, they're doing their best, because I think that they have, um, I think it's a biracial family, and they want their children to be able to go to the same school, but I think it maybe is segregated. I'm not 100% sure about the storyline of that one, but I think they're trying their best to make sure that their kids get to be treated equally. So that is what that one is about, I think. Um, the next option that you could choose to read for March books and if you did want any of these books, you can still get them like from the library or you can go purchase one or you can still even get them through the Book of the Month Club website. If you don't like any of the April books, you might want to try one of these March books or vice versa. <laughs> so anyway, the next one is called um, In a Book Club Far Away and it's by Tiff Marcello, and it's about a group of army wives who all live on the same base together, and they are in a book club together, and I think that they have a falling out, and then they go their separate ways, but then something ends up being wrong with the kids. Something is, like, not right, and so then they all come together again and try to help the children, and that is what that one is about. Your third option, which I kind of want to still read sometime anyway, is called The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Pummer. I think it's by Sarah Pummer. I don't really 100% remember the name, but that one sounded really cool. And I think it's in like the 17 or 1800s. And this girl is an apothecary and she has like a black market poison operation and she sells poison to all of the women in the town if their husbands are bad people or for men who are abusive and so they can poison them and it's like free and it's only for women and you can't use it on women. I don't know, it just sounded like it's a little bit like um, fantasy-esque. It sounded kind of cool. So I might read that later. And then you also could have chosen to read The Final Revival of Opal and Ned. Nev. The Final Revival of Opal and Nev with a V. And I think that that is by Donnie Walton. And I think it's about a band in the 70s. I don't think it's about a real band. I think it's a fake band, like just fictional for the story. And they get together in the 70s and make music. I think it's rock and roll. And then we can see the book that I chose in my box here. And here we are. It's Too Good to Be True. And it's a novel by Carola Lovering. got a cute little bookmark. Where were we? <laughs> That's cute with the little snail. I don't read like a snail. Listen, I read quickly. <laughs> and this story is about... So Too Good to Be True is one love story about two marriages and three versions of the truth. I think there's murder involved. Um, I think that the book retails, yeah, for $28 regularly in the bookstore. And you only pay $15 for these books, and they're brand new hardcover books, so that's a pretty good deal. You know what I mean? So I'll just read the inside of the book jacket so you can read what this one is about, if you're interested in reading it yourself. Sky Starling is overjoyed when her boyfriend Burke Michaels proposes after a whirlwind courtship. Though Sky seems to have the world at her fingertips, because she's smart, beautiful, and from a well-off family, she is also battling crippling OCD ever since her mother's death when she was 11 and her romantic relationships had suffered as a result. But now Burke, who is handsome, older, and more emotionally mature than any man she's ever met before, says that he wants her. Forever. Except Burke isn't who he claims to be. 
and interdispersed letters to his therapist reveal the truth. He's happily married and using Sky for his own deceptive ends. In a third perspective, set 30 years earlier, a scrappy 17-year-old named Heather is determined to end things with Burke because he's the local bad boy and she wants to make a better life for herself in New York City. But can her adolescent love stay firmly in her past or will he find her way to the future? On a collision course she doesn't see coming, Sky throws herself into wedding planning as Burke's schemes grow even more twisted. But of course, even the best laid plans can go astray. And just when you think that you know where the story is going, you'll discover that there's more than one way to spin the truth. And then here is a picture of the author in the back of the book jacket. Hi, Nova girl. And it says um, that Carola Lovering is the author of Tell Me Lies, and her work has appeared in the New York Magazine, W, National Geographic, Outside, and Yoga Journal, among other publications. She has graduated from Colorado College and lives in Connecticut with her family. Oh, that's kind of cool. So this is the book that I chose for March 2021, Book of the Month, and you'll see what I chose for April probably really, really soon. <laughs> um... I think that this sounds pretty good. It's like a mystery. I really thought that it was a murder, so maybe somebody's dead. I don't know. I thought it was a murder. I love true crime shows and stuff like that, like Forensic Files. I've seen all of them. So I usually like to read things that are kind of like that, a little bit thrillery. Um, okay, yeah. This will be probably a good read. I don't think that it will take me very long to read this because the print in the book looks like it's a little bit larger than normal. Here, I'll show you. See, it's got like kind of biggish print and it's only like 300 something pages, 330 pages. So not as big as some of the other book of the month books that I've gotten in the past or other books just in general that I've read, but this one will be a good read. So I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. It really makes my day. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys could take a moment to hit like or subscribe. And until I have another video up, I will talk to you guys all later. Bye!